And, you know, now that, now that Elizabeth Warren has ended her campaign, um, you know, we want to make the case to everybody that all of the supporters of, of Elizabeth Warren's change, that there's a very clear um, contrast right now between Biden and Bernie. And Bernie's clearly the person who believes in Green New Deal, Medicare for All, um, has recently laid out a universal child care plan of his own, and is um, the person best suited to deliver on uh, on the change that many people in the Warren campaign were committed to. So, do you hope this has some influence on the Warren and the Warren campaign? What you were hearing there was uh, National Director of the Working Families Party, Maurice Mitchell, and Ryan's kids that were in the background. So, Ryan, you spoke with Maurice. Um, this is some news that you're breaking here on the show. The Working Families Party originally decided to endorse Elizabeth Warren, I think, back in uh, October. Yeah. As now, since she's bowed out of the race, they're behind Bernie Sanders. Uh, just lay out maybe what that what that yeah. means, the endorsement. I mean, too little, too late. Is it actually going to do something? What do you think? Well, it, if you remember, I'm, uh, it was an yeah. extremely controversial endorsement. Very because uh, there was a, there was there were questions about uh, how their rank and file membership had voted and how the online voting had gone, which they never released right. and they still haven't still haven't released. Uh, ultimately, they they endorsed Elizabeth Warren. You know, it, kind of a bet that she was going to be the progressive candidate that was going to consolidate, which is what it looked party. like at the time. Right, fair. and yeah. uh, it did not work out that right. way for her or for the Working Families Party. And so, you know, they have moved. I, would, I wouldn't call it last minute. You know, it's only, only a few days after she left, but they didn't do it as quickly as some other people who had in, in, endorsed Elizabeth Warren. So it's, it's coming the day before Michigan, and it does put some pressure on Elizabeth Warren uh, to say, you know, which side are you on here? Right. This is the, the guy that you came into public life to fight, mm -hmm. a guy who's now saying he's going to appoint Jamie Dimon, who you have said the most vicious things about. The only, the only person you've said worse things about than Joe Biden is Jamie Dimon. Yeah. <laughs> and so it'll be yeah. Biden as president, Jamie Dimon as uh, Treasury Secretary. Treasury, yeah. Treasury, Treasury Secretary, Secretary for, for anybody who's not familiar. Treasury by Secretary. Axios. This, this is the Citigroup CEO. Yeah. You've, yeah. Like, J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan. But yeah. just, sorry, yeah. J.P. Morgan. You, right. you've got, you've, He's like, a billionaire it's a, you've, too. You've got to be kidding me yeah. kind of situation. Uh, Mike Bloomberg is the head of the World Bank. Oh, and so it, it, the question then, are, are you on one side or the other, or are you trying to continue to sit on the fence here? And so the Working Families Party, by endorsing, is kind of saying, like, look, everybody, everybody in the progressive community needs to get behind Bernie Sanders, whether you have reservations or not, because there are two choices left at this point. That's, I mean, this is a really stark dynamic. I was talking with you during the break. There's this interesting phenomenon of a lot, some Warren staffers, not all, to be clear, yeah. some Warren staffers are coming out and endorsing Sanders on Twitter. You know, they all kind of have the same green picture or whatever. Right. They have standard. But I've been following it with some great interest because there's this grassroots, some younger Warren energy. Now, look, I think some of them also are, you know, very upset. <laughs> I saw some of them attacking a journalist, Alex Thompson, yeah. on Politico for doing his job and asking that, you know, trying to get information right. out of the campaign at the time. But all that being said, like some nastiness, there, some of these people are coming out to endorse Bernie. The Working Families Party are coming out endorsing Dorney, Bernie. I actually think I saw the P's Triple C, the Progressive Campaign Change Committee, or I think that's what it is, and Adam Groom's outfit also encouraging people to vote for Sanders. So there are people who are coming over yeah. to that side, despite you know some of the bad blood that was there yeah. at the time. Just on Elizabeth Warren herself, she's dancing on SNL. Right. Well, the P Triple C very conspicuously did mm -hmm. not endorse Sanders. What they yeah. said was uh, they urged their members in Michigan to strategically vote for Bernie Sanders. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know what that means. But, what, yeah. Basically what's going on there is there is a level of hostility towards Sanders among uh, some segment of Warren supporters uh, that is intense. Hmm. And, that, and I think that what they're trying to do there is not get some of that blowback from uh, from outright endorsing Sanders. In fact, when I wrote uh, my column saying, here's why right. uh, Elizabeth Warren should endorse Bernie Sanders, I Everyone sent it out. Go read that. Go, go read that thing. Yeah. I sent it out to my newsletter, which everybody should also yeah. subscribe to, uh, to balance out the people that are on there now. Yeah. I got a lot of angry replies. Really? There, are, yeah. there are a lot of rank-and-file Democratic voters who have a hostility for Bernie Sanders that goes beyond ideology, that has, that has descended into a personal disgust uh, with Sanders. And so while a lot of Warren supporters are endorsing 
Bernie Sanders on, uh, on Twitter. You also have a, a lot of them internally who are making the case privately, do not endorse Bernie. We hate Bernie. Yeah. There, there's, there's, there's toxicity and bad blood um, that has built up throughout, throughout the campaign um, that is going to be have, gonna have to be dealt with some, one way or another. Well, and, and, you know, the Working Families Party, to their credit, I guess, is standing with what they purport mm -hmm. to believe in. So right. there's one person. All right, we're gonna have more Rise for you right after this.